here's one of my landing pages which has an inquiry form on it and we want to track this inquiry form within Google Analytics. Now my site runs on WordPress so I use a plugin called Contact Form 7. It's a great plugin. Um, this is the GA, uh, sorry, the WordPress Contact Form uh, 7 settings and once you've built your form you need to scroll all the way to the bottom and go to the additional settings box. Contact Form 7 has a series of callbacks which can execute when something happens on the page and in this case I'm using the on sent OK property. Now this gets triggered whenever the uh, contact form is sent so when it's sent I am triggering a push to the Google Analytics data layer. This is so that we can pick up this event in uh, Google Analytics um, and in Google uh, Tag Manager. So I am pushing uh, an event called GA Consultant Form Submit and I'm also passing in the ID of this form so that if I had multiple forms I would know which one was being triggered. So once you've done that, you need to head into Google Tag Manager and we're going to create a new macro first. So head into macros and the new macro is going to be called the same value as we were sending from the contact form, so GA consultant form submit. I'm going to set that to a custom event and we're going to save that. Now we're going to create a new tag which will fire the event when the contact form is submitted. So I'm going to call it event inquiry form submit. I'm going to select Universal Analytics. My tracking number is already in a macro. I suggest you do that. Uh, just so that if your tracking ID changes, you don't have to change it in all your all your tags. Select the event, and I'm going to give it some labels. Now, uh, we now need to set up some triggering rules. So, when should this tag fire? So, we're going to set that up. I'm going to create a new a new rule. I'm going to call it inquiry form submitted. And here's where we're going to pick up the event value that we are sending from uh, contact form 7. So when our event contains GA consultant form submit, which just to remind you is the value we're sending from the form, when Google detects that we're going to trigger this rule. So we've now got our firing rule, uh, we've got this event, so I'm going to save that. Now we need to test this is actually working before we put it live on our site. So we're going to use the Google Tag Manager debug feature, or the uh, the preview feature, should I say. So hit preview, uh, quick preview. This will set a cookie in our browser so that uh, only we can see this new version of the um, the tag container. Everyone else viewing the live site will still see the old version. Um, so once you've done that we're going to head back to the website and I'm going to uh, refresh the page and for testing I like to use uh, HTTP Fox although you can obviously use Chrome developer tools but uh, for this I'm going to use HTTP Fox so that is under Web Developer Tools, HTTP Fox. Um, you obviously have to install it as an add-on first. And you're going to start collecting data. So let's fill in the form. And some dummy data. And hit send. So uh, our contact form has been sent, the uh, 
contact form 7 has triggered the push to the data layer. So that event uh, has now been pushed to, uh, to the data layer and then picked up by our rule in Google Tag Manager, which has then fired our event to Google Analytics. So if we have a look here, we can see, have a look at the query string. We can see our event has been triggered with our event category inquiry and event action submitted GA consultant inquiry. So once you're happy with that, the next step is to push it live. So that is working. So I am going to publish, uh, create a version and publish. And now that is on the live version of my site.